Hey everybody, this is Rykard here again, and welcome to my next video where I'm going to be talking about the latest news on Pokemon X and Y. So about an hour or so ago, uh, Nintendo had their press conference for E3 where they talked about all the new games being developed for the year, um, new titles planned to release in 2014 as well, and just basically all the Nintendo stuff that's going on. But of course, being a big you know conference to reveal a ton of information, Nintendo did have a bit of information on X and Y, which I will get to in just a moment. But firstly, the one thing that I thought was really cool is we, that we actually have a worldwide release date for this game, which is going to be October 12th, and that's only about four months away, so that's really cool. I need to buy a 3DS so I can play this, obviously, because I do not have one right now. Um, but it's basically going to be released worldwide, so everyone's going to get it at the same time, which is something that I'm really excited about and that I hope they continue to do for future releases of all Nintendo games, just because it seems like Europe always gets screwed in getting the games like six months after everybody else, which is really dumb. Um, so I'm glad that's a thing that is going to be with this game, so I'm really excited about that. So, without any further waiting, let's get into the first thing about this um, new trailer, which is the introduction of the new fairy type. So, fairy type is a new type introduced into Generation 6, and they basically told us in the trailer that it is super effective against dragon type Pokemon, which is amazing because, in all honesty, dragon types are considered to be the most powerful type of Pokemon. Um, in general, if they set up a Dragon Dance, they just outrage your whole team and you're dead unless you have a Steel type. But it's really cool now that we have an alternative type that now will be able to deal super effective damage to Dragon types, which kind of just shows you how Game Freak is actually trying to balance this game out, which really makes me happy just to see the effort they're putting in to make it really good for a competitive environment, in my opinion. Um, now, they don't tell us anything else about the type other than that it's super effective against Dragon, so you don't know if Dragon hits it not very effectively or anything like that. So more of that information will be coming later. I will definitely do a video on it. I just wanted to get this video out right away. Um, but with the introduction of the fairy type, um, they also told us a few Pokemon that are now going to be fairy type. So first of which is Jigglypuff, um, which obviously means that evolutions of Jigglypuff will be you know, fairy types as well. So Wigglytuff will be, I believe, normal fairy. Um, Gardevoir will be Psychic Fairy. Sylveon, the new Eeveelution, is going to be a pure fairy type, which is really cool. That's awesome. I mean, everyone was kind of assuming that was going to like happen, but it was just a rumor. Um, and then Meryl is actually going to be a water fairy type, which is really cool because I just did a video on Azumarill recently where I talked about how great this Pokemon is, and with it having the new fairy typing, that could yield a whole new gamut of possibilities with what this Pokemon can do. Um, so that's really awesome. Um, but another thing about uh, the fairy type and um, what it does, there were actually two moves shown in the trailer being used by Sylveon and Gardevoir, respectively. Gardevoir? Gardevoir, respectively. The first is called Moonblast, which is a move that Sylveon used. Um, it basically like summoned the moon, opened the sky, and like blasted the opponent. Um, and this actually is a move that has a potential chance to lower your attack stat, which is really cool. I'm all for moves that deal debuffing um, or have debuff secondary effects. So any type of move that could lower an attack could just yield a possibility for a defensive variant of a Pokemon. So you could think like physically defensive Sylveon with Moonblast and it can lower attack to make it take physical hits even better. Something like that, you know? Um, the, o the other move that was introduced was Fairy Wind. Um, that was a move that was Gardevoir was shown using. Um, and it looked pretty cool. It didn't seem like it was going to be that great of a move unless we learned something else about it. It sounded similar to Icy Wind, but I don't know if it'll have the same effect or if it'll like lower speed or anything. But that is just the two moves that we were given. I'm sure there will be more in the future. So with this introduction of the new type, there are a couple of questions that I personally have. First of which are other Pokemon that will be given this fairy typing. Now Blissey is an obvious choice, um, and that would be insane. Because Blissey is good enough as it is, so with the fairy typing might make it even better, that's kind of cool. Obviously Clefable will be, because Clefable is the fairy Pokemon, I'm pretty sure. Um, it is completely fairy, 100%, there's no reason for it not to be. Um, I've also heard speculation that Mawile might be Steel Fairy, which would be really cool. Then you have something that um, could really handle Dragon types, because you obviously resist it with the Steel typing, and then can hit it super effectively with a Fairy move or something like that. That's really cool, if that's a thing. Um, I'm not sure if... Um, 
um, all while we'll get that typing though, but it was just a, it was speculation. My other question though is like um, in previous generations where when like a new type was introduced, like byte, it was originally a normal type in Gen one, but in Gen two when dark types were introduced, it became a dark type move. Um, so what I'm wondering is if there are any current moves that are currently normal type that will become fairy types. I was talking to one of my friends about this a little bit, and he thought maybe Swift could be fairy. I don't know. It's just a thought. Um, but it's something to think about, and I think that would be really cool to find out once we get more information. Um, but with that, um, just or on top of the fairy type um, introduction, uh, we also got two new Pokemon. So let's take a look at those right now. So the first of the two Pokemon revealed to us in this trailer was a Pokemon known as Noivern, which is going to be a dragon flying type Pokemon. Now we do have a lot of those, so that's not as exciting, but for this type of Pokemon it makes complete sense. It's a wyvern, so of course it's going to be dragon flying. That's what a wyvern is. Um, so that's really cool. Um, it's really nice to see new dragon type Pokemon. I'm always a fan. I really, get, really like its design. It looks really cool just because of like, the color scheme on it and everything. Um, but it was also seen using a new move in the trailer known as Boom Burst. Um, it was kind of, un oh, or it's unsure of what kind of type this is. I'm assuming it might be a dragon type move, which would be really cool. Um, and it is shown basically doing this like giant shockwave across the screen, um, which in my opinion means that it will probably hit everything on the screen in like a double or triple battle or something like that. So that's really cool. But um, this is just one of the new Pokemon that was introduced. Um, it's the dragon type, so... I'm assuming we'll see a lot of good things from this Pokemon when it is released with the rest of the game. As far as this next Pokemon is concerned, it is known as the Villain, and it is a bug flying type Pokemon. And my speculation is that this is going to basically be the Butterfree of Gen 6. Um, it looks really sweet though, like this is a really cool looking bug type Pokemon. Um, I'm hoping that it's powerful enough to be used competitively. Because typically most bug types don't really go over so well when they're put into the competitive environment. Especially since it's bug flying already, which means that it's going to be screwed over by Stealth Rock. But either way, I really like this design of this Pokemon. And honestly, so far, I've pretty much liked every single 5th gen Pokemon I've seen. And I'm really excited about that. Because wasn't so sure about 4th gen at first, um, or 5th gen really. But definitely enjoying the Pokemon that have been released so far in the art for the 6th gen Pokemon. Um, but that is pretty much it for this video. There was another thing announced called like Pokemon Ami or something like that, which is a way that you can create a stronger bond with your Pokemon by like petting it or giving it food and stuff like that. So that's kind of cool. It's not something that I'm particularly interested in, but if you want to check out more information on that, I'm sure you could Google that and find it or go on Cerebi because that's where I got most of my information that I made in this video. But that is pretty much it for this video. Um, this is only the bare bones information that we're getting right now. So I'm assuming there will be more as the E3 conference goes on, and I will definitely be sure to update all of you on the information once it is released. But again, that is it for this video, everyone. So as always, thank you for watching, take care, goodbye, and I will see you.